I'd like to show you how to send a personalized email to a bunch of people. And you don't actually start in Outlook, you start with Word and Excel. Here is a Word document and I'm going to do some mailing. This is where mail merges happen. Now I need to select some recipients. I've already made a spreadsheet here that has the name of a student, name of their parents, and the email address of the parents, because in this example, I'm thinking of a school context, but it could be for anything. So back to Word, I'm gonna write this here. Now I need to um, select the recipients, use my list, which I've saved in Dropbox. Here it is. Okay, so it's going to take my data from sheet one, I only had one sheet in there, and it's gonna use the first row of data which contains column headers. We had name, parent name, and email. Go OK. So now these things here are available to me. I'm gonna insert the merge field, and you can see I've got this here, the three names I had at the tops of the columns. I'm gonna address this to the parents. Okay, now I wanna put the student's name in. I choose name there. Okay, so my email is ready to send now. I've got two uh, things that are merging in here. Let's preview my results. Okay, dear Mr. and Mrs. Little, let you know that Jimmy has a test next week, and so on. So if that all matches up, now I can finish and merge. And I'm going to go down here to send email messages. And when I click there, it'll ask me who I want to send it to, and I have here, that same drop down list is automatically picked up on email for me. So I just leave it like that. Subject line is upcoming test. And I'm going to send all of those records and we go OK. So what will happen is that Outlook will open up now. I can see my Outbox has got four emails that are going to get sent. Um, I'm not actually going to send them because just on the off chance one of these made up emails is real delete them, but if I let them go, it will send those four emails off for me and job's done.